Um, the reason anarchists are against prisons is because we're against locking people in cages. But specifically about the U.S., historically, um, prisons emerged after slavery ended. And all these new laws that really limited people's movement, um, the movement of African Americans even just in their own town or like rural areas, you couldn't really live. Like you would just be stopped and put into jail and they would actually use that labor. Um, and it would be like you were a slave again um, because you were on chain gang. Um, and now, uh, since the 60s, um, uh, what happened is since the war on drugs, there's been uh, just a massive increase in the population of people who have been locked up. And um, we lock up more people than any other country in the world. And um, that's both like by percentage and by just sheer numbers. It's outrageous. Um, and it just destroys people as individuals and it destroys whole communities. And I'm not saying people can't recover from it, but it's so traumatizing. Imagine being locked in a cell and having your things taken from you, being beaten. This happens all the time. And um, people are sexually assaulted. Um, and then just random routine searches, strip searches, like, every, like all the time. And um, you're not eating any kind of healthy food. It kind of destroys your health. And so people come home broken. And I'm not saying people can't heal from that. They can. And there's some amazing work being done. And that's who we need to look to, is people coming home who are healing themselves and their communities. But also the communities are so damaged because they're actually taking away the people who are most likely to rebel. And I think that's why this has happened since the 60s and 70s, when movements were at a really strong point because they decided to have a war on drugs. Um, you know, this is not helping people, right? Yes, we have a drug problem. Yes, addiction can be extremely harmful. Um, but they're not actually doing things that are going to help people. Um, the people. The people who are making the decisions in our society um, are basically prioritizing locking people up. And not just for dealing, but mostly for possession. And that's what a lot of people are locked up for. And um, and it's mostly people of color, and white people do more drugs, but are not locked up. Like, imagine how many white people do drugs in the suburbs. I, I personally have experience with doing drugs in the suburbs as a teenager. We had no, we were not even worried about getting caught. But there's also a lot of statistics that show that it's young people of color being, being picked up. And so it's definitely a method of social control. So I think that um, the, way, the impact on communities of color is devastating because these are, these are like so many people who will be contributing to the community um, and, and building community organizations, um, take, looking out for each other. And um, so I think that, you know, people always ask, you know, what would you do instead? And, um, you know, what would you do with the violent criminals? And um, are you just going to open the doors suddenly and have everyone run out? I don't think so. I think that we need to work on our vision now, and a lot of people are doing that. Um, people are doing some amazing work around transformative justice, and the idea is that our communities can transform themselves. We can transform ourselves so that we're not, we're not harming each other in order to survive, and we're not harming each other because of our past trauma. Um, it, it's crazy how trauma works. It, it impacts people in ways that sometimes cause them to hurt others. And so we really need to address that. Um, there's a lot of um, healing that needs to be done. And not just on the individual level or the family level, but also on a community level, like neighborhoods, like um, cities and rural areas. And I think that that transformative justice is going to show us the way. And I think it's sort of a work in progress. Um, but definitely the most most people who are in jail right now could be let go like and it would not be a problem for anyone because they're, they're locked up for using drugs and um so it's a challenge but you know i'm ready and i think we can do it we can make something much better than this